Hey everybody, it's Kay, and today I want to talk to you about these. Not these books in particular, but audiobooks in general. So I love audiobooks. I know that there's some people who they just prefer not to listen to them. They prefer to read the actual book, and I think that's all well and good. I have no complaints about that. There are some books that I'd rather sit and read than listen to on audio to tell the truth. But the one of the reasons I love audiobooks is because audiobooks can help me get through books sometimes that otherwise I wouldn't get through. Um, books that I'm struggling reading at times, like three books in particular pop into my mind right away. Room by Emma Donahue. I could not read that book. But when I listened to it, I really enjoyed it. Who Asked You by Terry McMillan. I did a book review on that book here on the channel, as well as Room, as a matter of fact. But with Who Asked You, I think in that video I even said that the narration brought the book to life for me and made me really, really enjoy it. Um, and The Memory Man by David Baldacci, that was a hard read. I think I got halfway through the book and said, you know what, I can. If I really want to finish it, I'm going to have to listen to it. And I listened to it. And I still even had a hard time getting through the audiobook to tell the truth. But the audiobook experience made it so much better for me with those three books specifically. Um, other reasons I love audiobooks, number one, for my commute. That is my time in my car when I can relax and unwind, de-stress, think about nothing else but concentrate on the book. And that really, really helps me. My commute can sometimes be between 40, 45, 50 minutes even, you know, because sometimes I might not leave the house on time. My fault. But um, the listening to books really does help me when I'm commuting. And also another reason I love audiobooks is because I can get through multiple books at one time by reading one and then listening to another so I enjoy audiobooks for that reason. Some of my favorite attributes of audiobooks. Um, I love the beauty of the spoken word anyway, but I love that by listening through an audiobook, you really get to hear the emotion um, in the voices of the narrators, if they're good, mind you. You get to hear the anger, the angst, the happiness, the joy, the sorrow, the pain, the fear. I love that about listening to audiobooks. I also love an audiobook with, with music or sound effects in the background. It sets a nice ambiance for the story, but only if it's done well. Sometimes it can be overkill. Sometimes it, it, it's just not executed well. But let me tell you, I love the sound effects and the music in the John Puller series by David Baldacci. Um, it's narrated by Ron McClarty and what's her name? Ola Cassidy and they do a fantastic job but the books have sound effects. I tell you one I was listening to the first book in the series Zero Day not realizing it had sound effects you know driving and then dodging bullets and bombs and things going off but listening to the sound effects just added to the experience of the book. Um, some of my favorite narrations to Kill a Mockingbird read by Sissy Spacek. She read that book. She did a phenomenal job. I, she, she really did. I loved it. Nowhere is a Place by Bernice McFadden read by Myra Lucretia Taylor. Not only was the book beautiful, but the narration was outstanding. Another one, Here Comes the Sun, read by Bonnie Turpin. Bonnie is phenomenal. She is a phenomenal narrator. I'm going to talk about some of her narration in a few minutes. Um, the Eve Dallas series written by J.D. Robb, narrated by Susan Erickson. Susan Erickson, I've listened to a lot of the books of that series, and Susan Erickson has become those characters. And to hear her switch in and out of the, those voices, that talent is, is great. And when she does the character of Peabody, for those of you who listen to that series, I'm like, man, I mean, she, mm, honey, she does a great job with it. Um, as I just mentioned, the John Puller series by David Baldacci, I love that. 
January Lavoie Reads the Women's Murder Club by James Patterson. Um, by the way, I skipped and I didn't tell you. Here Comes the Sun is written by Nicole Dennis Ben and To Kill a Markin Bird, Harper Lee. Uh, some of my favorite narrators and, and the, some of the work they've done. Okay, so I mentioned Bonnie Turpin. Here's, here's a short list, a short list of all the books she's narrated. And I know you've heard of these books. Hidden Figures, Black Girl Lost, The Kitchen House, The Darkest Child, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, The Help, Underground Railroad, Yellow Crocus, Children of Blood and Bone, The Hate You Give. Short list. This woman has done some remarkable work. Um, Kirsten Potter, she does a lot of thriller books that I like to listen to. Um, books by Tammy Hogue, Deeper Than the Dead, Secrets to the Grave, down the Darkest Road. Um, she does books, books by Lisa Gardner, a lot of Lisa Gardner's books. And she did a zombie thriller, y'all know I like zombies, a zombie thriller that I really liked called Rise Again by Ben Tripp. Um, Scott Brick, he read um, several Harlan Coben books that I love. As a matter of fact, they were the first three Harlan Coben books that I listened to, I think, besides... Um, six years, <laughs> but these are three of the books that um, made me really fall in love with his work. The Woods, The Innocent, and Play Dead. So Scott Brick narrated all three of those. Myra Lucretia Taylor, who narrated No Warriors of Place, also narrated Sugar and This Bitter Earth by Bernisa McFadden. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Kathleen Mc McInerney she narrates um, some Kristen Hanna books that I really like and Mary Kay Andrews. For urban fiction fans, Kim Brockington narrating Damia S. Poole's A Rich Man's Baby series. I love it. I love that series. There are only four books in that series and she cut it off when I really wanted to know what's going to happen with Adrian. But I'm going to let that go, Damia. I'm going to let it go. Um, Patricia R. Floyd, if you listen to African American books on audio, there's a great chance that you have heard Patricia R. Floyd read Carl Weber, Mary Monroe, Rashonda Tate Billingsley, Victoria Christopher Murray, Eric Jerome Dickey, amongst others. Dion Graham, he reads Eric Jerome Dickey, Alex Cross, Brandon Massey, and a lot of other books. Um, Ron McClarty reads a lot of David Baldacci books. Um, trying to see who else. I've got a lot of people written down here, but those are just some of my favorite audiobook narrators um, that are out there. Some things that I don't like about audiobooks: a dry narrator. When it does, when you're listening to CDs, like this is what I listen to most of the time is the CDs. When it doesn't say this is the end of the CD. That bought, that's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> because I'm usually driving. I need to know when the CD has ended. Um, something else, a poorly edited audiobook that at the end of the disc, it ends in the middle of a paragraph. And when you put the next disc in, it doesn't um, go back to the beginning of that paragraph to catch you back up. I, I hate that. I can't stand Oh my God. I can't stand that. It, it drives me crazy. Um, something else about audiobooks I don't like especially the CDs, you're driving and listening, you hear a beautiful passage um, in the book, or there's something you want to bookmark, you can't. That bothers me. That's where having the actual physical book comes in handy. And if you miss something, it's hard to go back and catch it if you don't know what chapter it was or... Um, you know, how many minutes in or seconds in, you know, those kind of things bother me about audiobooks. But I was listening to um, a booktuber, Jen Talks Audiobooks. And one of the things that she has said in her videos is if you listen to an audiobook and you do a, re a review here on BookTube, make sure to mention the narrator. I am the biggest defender of forgetting to mention the narrator when I'm reviewing a book. So I want to take the time right now. <laughs>
I listened to her Secret Life by Tiffany L. Warren. And the narrator of this book is Sharice Booth. Okay. I have started listening to, but have not finished listening to, um, Have You Met Nora by Nicole Blades, also narrat narrated by Sharice Booth. And Brandon Massey, Don't Ever Tell, narrated by J.D. Jackson. So I need to be more diligent about mentioning the narrators in the reviews to give them the credit for the hard work that they have put into these stories. So I have held you long enough. I just want to know, what do you think about audiobooks? Do you listen to them? Do you read a book at the same time you're listening to an audiobook? Who are some of your favorite narrators? What are some of your favorite stories that you've listened to on audio? Just share any and all of your thoughts about audiobooks down below. Thank you for your time and your patience. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, everybody, keep reading. Bye-bye.